verbally, I don't post. We usually quickly talk about the issue of drugs in Sierra Leone and how this is destroying the future of our youths. Okay, so the young people are just going into drugs. I mean, this is not new, but then the rate at which is, it is happening, that is what is alarming. It is terrible. You just bump into this young, fine person. That is not okay. That is not normal because they are on some drugs. Okay? We have different types. We have the jamba. We have the... Of course, I don't know if people take cocaine here, but I think if they do, then they must be rich, okay? Because it is expensive. Then we now have the ones that are really cheap, which most of these guys can afford. And they just, like, they sell all of their future just to have these tiny things that can take them high. The rate at which young people are taking drugs these days... <laughs> I'm scared okay I'm just scared I'm afraid whatever you want to call it and we should not turn a blind eye to this the fact that it has not hit you personally it has not hit your loved one personally then that does not mean you should turn a blind eye if you've never been to um, Kisi then you will not understand but when you go there the number of people that you'll see most of these people are mad not because of their genes not because of cultural or traditional things like we used to say oh na witch na this people are now going mad because of what they take the substances okay the youths are now going mad because of the substances and it's sad to know that some of these people don't have strong minds they have weak minds and because of that they can go into drugs they can take things just because of situations maybe say the poverty the hardship in the country maybe say they were not able to finish school you know a lot of reasons a lot of reasons some people start taking drugs because of their relationships are not working it's a whole lot different things affect people differently okay i have been planning to talk about this for a while but then i was just like mm. Mm -mm, you know counting one and two thinking deep about it but then i watched the bbc documentary on i think it was slbc or ayb i don't know but i'll definitely link the 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 video the bbc documentary in the description box and you guys when you watch that video if you're a civilian you might like me maybe you've been thinking about this but not so deep but when you watch that video that is when you know that this is serious it is serious the whole process of getting the money to, like i i saw a young guy finding money finding scrap metals finding just anything that he can sell to get money to get drugs that guy was playing with the like the dots like he was just mixing things he was he was just playing with all of the dots in the gutter he was just digging you know when they say scavenger he was a total scavenger trying to find something in that dirt to sell to buy drugs that is how bad it is that is how bad it is and according to the documentary if they have like a certain amount of money let's say ten thousand they'll end up eating just a tiny little bit from it and then the rest of it they are going to use it to buy drugs which means the drug is now much more important to them than the food miserable i just i just can't understand you have money you don't want to buy clothes for yourself to feel good you don't want to take care of your family members to feel good in society you don't want to take care of your health you don't want any other thing just to get drugs for the day and you're good like it makes you satisfied you've accomplished your deal for that day what has gone so wrong that you've become so narrow-minded what has gone so wrong that you think this is the only decision on earth just show you guys a short clip okay from the bbc documentary but i'm not going to use all of the videos that are making rounds on social media to show you guys because for sure i know that the bbc documentary one they've given consent for their faces to be seen on the social media platforms but the other small small clips you know of people either sleeping you can see people on top of bikes okay and they'll be sleeping Whoosh. 
you can see people standing and they are sleeping kush we have all of these videos but like i said i'm not going to insert those here because i don't know if they gave content I, i'm sure they didn't give any content but i want to believe that the bbc documentary was a professional work you know it, it was a professional piece so i believe there is content so you're going to just take a minute to watch the short scene and then the link like i said will be in the description box for you to watch i'll come back in the jiffy Kush. you draw one outside the opi the asshole you opi win a new illegal drug high taking my country's youth to a dark place everyone sleeping here is on Kush. everyone Young generation. I don't get a knife. I know the bad But there are so many laws. Young people driven mad. Young people killing themselves. Young people harming themselves and others. I smoke and I hate people who only them. Believe me, nobody calls you mother. Our psychiatric wards are filling up with Kush casualties and police are battling to win the war against this drug. So they can tell you that they are all all Kush. All Kush. So this morning we are going to say no to it. Huh? We don't want it in this school. We don't want it around us. But with Kush spreading like wildfire, with ever younger users being exposed to it, how can my country win the war against this drug? Yeah. Uh. My name is Tyson Conte. I'm a filmmaker from Sierra Leone. Something bad is happening in my country. Recently, I've noticed on social media a lot of very, very young people dying on timely deaths, running mad, harming themselves. That's his stand, watching his bath. I hear these horrors have been caused by a cheap new illegal high which has swept across Sierra Leone over the last 18 months. They call it Kush. Here in our capital, Freetown, is where the drugs grip is greatest. I am coming to visit the guys that are high on the drugs on Kush. Um, here is a place called Bombay Market. This is a giant market during the day, um, but in the night, it's also a home to many of these young people who are living on the streets, and this Kush has just pushed them further into the drains. Kush has become king, overtaking more expensive street drugs like Tramadol. Everyone sleeping here is on Kush. Everyone, young generation. All you smoke Kush. But you always around the two o'clock. The same man they grab, grab now. And he has some against you. For many, Kush is an escape from their daily lives. Olamed, who has been forced to survive on the streets for years, first came across Kush in 2018. And he, he drew he one. Outside the OP, the ASO, the OP, wing. Just over the Quapos, you go inside what's up. I'm moving to the AC block. No, later, where, where, where do you want to come out with the AC open? Wing! Outside the open. The first kush. In the game, we get power XX. Olamed shows me what kush is. Crushed, dry leaves sprayed with chemicals. He don't smoke them. He make, he make a nod for himself. And that nod, what they know that they enjoy. But for the left, so one say one say so you know easy. Ah, all set by you. I like him. It's my day for smoke and safe. My way no black big. He big and by force. 
outside. Kush drives addicts to desperate measures. I met Aisha, who says she is forced to send sex to make money to buy the drug. Aisha is taking me around to see the places where she normally sells sex in the nights and then make her money for living. Money which um, she's going to use 60-70% of every day on push. As with Olamed, Aisha says Scrooge takes her to a happier place. I don't get a knife. I know the bad world. Ah, the push is so bad. But a kush high is only a brief state of mind. Smoking it can come at a price, a deadly price. I feel sweet, I enjoy the gave me that it gave me the sweet. I don't know any of you come to me, don't die the end. Yes. We don't all be gay, but if they take drugs, yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. How how in that? Effy. Effy. Yeah. My name Effy. The kush ya. The kush. In the drink room, in the papa smack. You know the eat. Brother next day, what I go inside? Can we see ya? I know this. You take one, take a knife. Now me order for the back. Now me order for the back. Now me aja. In back now the same thing. I know them when I see them. They will pass. We will be able to get me to maybe what they do. I'm glad they. The next morning, I discover the spot Aisha sells sex to pay for her kush habits is an open sewer. Desperate young kush addicts search through raw sewage, hoping to find something they can sell to survive. Smoking kush is an escape from this life. It's a vicious circle. So now, I hope you guys have seen that video. And if you want to know more, check the rest of the video. And I honestly don't know where we are going with all of this. It makes me really sad, to be honest. It makes me really, really, really sad. If the youths are killing themselves, if they are hurting themselves, that means we are not going to have a useful set of youths in the future. And then if you don't want to think about it, you think, oh, you're safe, your family is not concerned nobody in your family has been involved you just not you're just not sensible because these people they're just the number is just increasing by the day the rate is just going higher and then your child is going to be at risk okay your husband is going to be at risk <laughs> let's say okay your family members they have strong minds they are not going to do these things Fair enough, okay? They are, they, they are aware of what they are doing. They are not going to do these things. But think about the fact that they might get hurt by people that are doing these things. Because if you watch that BBC documentary in full, you will see that guy in that gutter finding anything that he can sell to get money for that day to buy drugs. So imagine that person. You come face to face in a tight corner with such a person. He's going to hurt you. He's going to harm you because he wants money desperately to buy drugs. That is why they stab people. That is why they rob. Because they are addicted and they want to satisfy their urges. So this is everybody's business. We must all lend our voices to talk about drugs, the issue of drugs in salon. First of all, who is really bringing these drugs that is something that we'll talk about later okay i think the most important ones or the main ones rather are um kush 
jamba diapers <laughs> this one i had it like a few years back okay it's not new and i was just wowed like diapers you had right people are using diapers i don't understand what do you want to benefit from this from all of this i mean i can talk to you personally as a person if you are going through things you need to know first of all that you are not the only one that is going through things it's sad to know that our minds are different and how i handle pain might not be how you handle pain how i handle grief how i handle financial struggles might not be the way you handle them have an open mind and know that life is not rosy we thank god for where we are we thank god for the things we've achieved we thank god for the jobs we have we thank god for everything but to be honest everybody is going through things there's nobody that is having a totally perfect life okay so I know you have your explanations that I went into this thing because I was not able to finish school. I went into this thing because I was not able to get this job. I went into this because of X, Y, Z. It's a whole lot. I'm sitting here talking to you. I don't have parents anymore in this world. It That's in itself, it's, it's stressful, okay? It is stressful, it is depressing. It is mentally challenging. Each and every day I go through that, okay? We all have our struggles. We all have our struggles. Taking substances is just going to make your life a miserable situation. Taking these things is just going to make matters worse. Taking these things is just going to be the answer that the devil is looking for to say, oh, I've won. Taking these things is not going to get you anywhere. That's the long and short. So. If you are taking them because you've not pro made progress in life, then you're just going to go backwards all the more, okay? You understand? So, I know we all have our strengths, but if you're watching this video and you're taking substances, please reconsider. And another thing you need to know is these things, they work differently for different people. It might fit John, it might not fit Harry. So, you are not going to just say, oh, because my friends do this, I'm going to do it. It might just end up being the worst thing you ever do. The recent one that I had is the fact that people are now using formalin as drugs and they are mixing formalin with other things. That is what they use in the mortuary to embalm the dead. That is what our youths are taking now. You can imagine. The people are saying this is leading to them having wounds all over their bodies and once they have wounds they can't heal so it's just you see them looking puffy you see them looking ashy you see them looking pale you see them looking it's just not a good sight to be honest so if you're talking about mental health issues oh depression blah 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 depression and all of these things we're not talking much about drugs we're not talking much about young people going into drugs we're not talking much about who is really bringing these drugs into this town, into, into this country. I don't think those things come in here unseen. I don't think it is unheard. I don't think they don't know about it. I don't think it is a mystery. Nobody is safe. We are all bringing children into this world. And these children are clean slates. They can easily take up what they see around them. They can easily copy what they see around them. And most times it is not just what you teach them at home. Most times it is not just what you show them. They see things. The internet is there. They go out, they go to school, they learn things. And so if we are not careful of our environments, if we are not careful of the people around us, if we are not, you know, trying to make situations better for those around us it will come back and haunt us it will come back you know so i've been seeing all of these videos on whatsapp you will see people sharing videos for some it's it's like a comic whatever people are laughing about it people are joking about it it is serious <laughs> it is serious you not know how serious it is until it knocks on your door, God forbid. But we all need to lend our voices. 
if your pastor in your church talk about it you never know who is sitting there depressed and thinking oh as soon as i leave this church the next thing i'm going to do is take this because this is definitely going to make me feel better these are the things that are leading people onto these things i said it is our fight it is our fight we all need to lend our voices and not just lend our voices make sure we lend our resources as well make sure we we put action into what we say so that we can see results so that we can see changes at the end of the day i mean i don't think there's anything else to say other than that i'll just say see you guys later in my next video